Hi everybody, my name's Stacey and I'm a nun. I thought it'd be pretty good to check in with you guys. Our uh, like numbers are low at the moment, so I just thought I'd give you a little bit of something like just to like show you what my day is about in case you're intimidated by like realising you're a child of God. We've downsized at the moment. I'm here at the nunnery, all the rest of the nuns are going about doing nun stuff. I've taken like the morning off because I've got a cold. Um, I'm suffering because I've got bed bug bites. All the other nuns have like decided to tell them to bite me or something because they don't get bitten. It's only me that gets bitten by the bed bugs. So other than learning that nuns are bullies, I'm not a bully so I will also welcome you here at the nunnery. I'm just going to share with you a little bit of my daily practice. Uh, I've got a coffee, which is what God told me to drink this morning. All of the other nuns finished the milk, so I haven't got any. Maybe if I text them, they might pick some up for me or something like that. Hey, big men, uh, how's it going today? They left me enough dinner last night, so you can't really complain, can you? Yes, the trial of love to God is probably what they're doing. Today my daily practice and where I'm channeling my um, love of God. Everybody practices differently. I really love doing like arts and crafts. I don't know if I've told you but we were in nunnery based down in Brixton in London. I went for a little peruse of the local area and I found a couple of bits and bobs that I think were really make some really nice God stuff. I'm going to go and get a couple of teas later to put a couple of cool godly badges on it. I found this one um, which I think kind of uh, what's that commandment? Um, the commandment about um, everything is good and don't judge a book by its cover. This is the one I thought might reflect that on a, um, a very plain and modest tea might be nice. Maybe over the heart, actually. Well, if we're being scientific about it, which God is, uh, maybe in the middle. Then I've got this, um, well, I think this one actually speaks for itself, you know. I picked this one up from somebody called Sophie King. I, I think she might be a nun herself. Uh, take a little look at that. See, guys, being a nun is actually quite important because otherwise people won't know, like, when they're being wrong. I think people quite like being told when they're wrong. That's a couple of my projects. You can listen if you want to, big guy. I'm preparing a couple of presents for a couple of friends who, who are tying the knot. Bless. Not by God. Um, okay, don't listen, big guy. They can't in the venue that we're going to. I might give the bridegroom this jumper. It's quite um, a liberated colour. It's quite peaceful and kind of like. Buddha, because it's coming from me, I have appropriated the colour and made it more Christian. I'm not really sure if, how God feels about appropriation. I haven't had that chin work with him recently. Colour is in the rainbow, right? So, and that's for everyone. I thought to celebrate their, their holy matrimony, I thought I'd put like wed and then a heart for their love and then put meat on it, like wed meat. I know that he's not vegetarian, making him a piece of meat because that's objectification, but because it's wed, he's off the market, the meat market. My other jumper, this time it's pink because she's a girl. I thought I'd put, I'd put Yogi heart to match his wifey. I've got to check the spelling on it. Not Wi-Fi. That's a technological advancement. I've been um, really thrilled to make this with you actually. I really hope that some of you might be interested in like, joining me here down at the nunnery. I'm left alone here most days. The nuns go and do stuff without me. I, as head of outreach now, I've just given myself that title. Um, I think they're going to be thrilled to know that I'm going to have some viewers and maybe get some more people along to the nunnery. If you're ever in doubt, Stacy loves you. God loves you. That's what I meant. <laughs>